Welcome guys. Today we are performing art project. I want you to close your eyes. And take a deep breath in. And out. Take a deep breath in. And out. Getting ready to connect to our inner child. So when you take that deep breath, breath in and then you take and then you release it, that's a perfect balance of giving and receiving, right? We take a deep breath in, we're like receiving life and just letting go, resting like hmm. Leaning on to something that makes us feel good. Trusting, right? The next moment. That's a perfect balance of giving and receiving. And this video is about our inner child. Our inner child is a part of us that is present within, with us, within us, our whole life. Always oh, something in my it's here actually the inner child is always here and if you realize that this part of yourself that is very pure innocent and vulnerable is the truest part of yourself you can start feeling a huge shift in your life it's like a heart opening moment because we sometimes think about our inner child as being something that is here and there somewhere appears in our adult life like in some moments it comes back you can even hear people talking in spiritual communities about healing your inner child or reconnecting with your inner child right because the childhood pro like the childhood times are the most important times for us in our brain development and behavioral uh patterns right so i want you to start thinking about yourself that it's not something that sometimes comes back it is actually the purest version of you. This inner child is the purest version of you, this childlike mind. And that is actually the true you. The, the child within us is always in perfect balance of giving and receiving is open and vulnerable and if you really want to experience love and just like freedom in that love then you need to allow yourself to, to be vulnerable if you're not vulnerable you're going to keep like putting boundaries and boundaries are also an important aspect of our true self the childlike self but it's about not protecting yourself too much because if you want to feel freedom in love you need to be vulnerable and open to connect to aspects of yourself that you will find in other people that are maybe a wounded aspect of our society challenging aspects of our past experiences 
and yes boundaries are a very important part of this state of being and this is something that comes very natural when you are truly connected to that inner child you are it you are like integrating it you're remembering it you take it close to yourself you look close at this aspect of yourself and you keep remembering this the, this the purest version of you very free and creative and you know just trusting that i can do whatever i want with respecting obviously with respecting other people with respecting my own boundaries this inner child really knows what it wants. Like the, the child, I'm going to take a sip of water. This child knows what it wants. It has a very clear, straightforward, honest, uh, way of being the children are very honest and they are usually very clear on what they want this gets disturbed later on in our life if we grow up in dysfunctional families patterns family patterns this can obviously get distorted this perfect clarity in our actions But the purest version of you, the childlike version of you, it really just knows. Like, I like this. I don't like that. Uh, I want to try this. No, I, I don't, you know, like this. I'm not sure. It, it is a state of being of constant exploring and expansion. And I think it's extremely important to integrate this aspect of ourselves that works with us our whole life. Our whole life, you are this child. That always feels free and experiencing love and sharing it with people. So I want you to reflect, reflect on that. And if there is any disbalance in your life, in any area of your life, look at that part of yourself. That is this child. In children, I want you to also look at that. That's also a water code here. Children are in a constant flow of receiving, very easygoing receiving energy. And I want you to look at that. That's also the water wisdom. If you see that collective consciousness as God, like everything that is around you as God, then you realize that if you just surrender as this child trusting in the process, you can feel yourself being in the state of like receiving love all the time, being like worthy of receiving it. And just like drinking the water it's like the wa water consciousness that i share here on this channel and i had also the opportunity to share it with my dear friend eliana on uh, the zen experience event in tulum where we also invited deepak chopra and many other amazing artists and spiritual teachers um the water wisdom is very powerful so i'm going to drink it so
it's like you don't have to have everything figured out by yourself it's like you want something and you know you're worthy of receiving it so you already open yourself up to receiving it you know what you want and you, you open yourself up to receiving it that's it that's it that's it and this feeling of like i'm supported in every every step i take on my journey i'm, I'm supported because i am the child of god or however you want to call it you know we can have different spiritual practices, different religions, uh, way of interpreting what is God to us, right? You will have people calling God different things and making a, a practice out of it. The truth is one. The truth is oneness. The truth is love. So love includes everything. If we would have this awareness, of I choose this belief system and you choose this belief system and it's okay and I choose this practice and you choose this practice and you choose this practice you name it like that you name it like that I name it like that it's all good because we're all like this I see like this, those children playing here children of God which is all that is which is the collective consciousness And what I don't like is the separation language, the separation that a practice can create. Because it's not about creating a separation between one practice and the other, one belief system and the other. It's okay if you believe in that and it works for you. But it doesn't mean that it's the only belief system or the only practice. So I really wanted to mention here this talking about our inner child because we all are free to choose whatever we want to practice in the moment because we're like children exploring what life is and what 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 can we hear what what can we create what can we uh, explore what kind of knowledge and wisdom what resonates with us and you know sometimes what resonates with you in this moment might not resonate with you the, the next moment because you change your your way of thinking right so my intention will be forever unity consciousness oneness consciousness which includes different ways of looking at life and not separating them coming to integration with all aspects of ourselves at the same moment because they all live at the same time all those aspects of ourselves by the way do you like my cozy socks <laughs> really nice i like them <laughs> so <clears throat> what is your child inner child like what is it like I bet it's very free and always very expressive in its wants, needs, it communicates when it wants, you know when children communicate, when they, when they want to eat, they want to eat, when they want to sleep, they want to sleep, when they want to play, they want to play. Um, they communicate what they like, what they don't like, as I mentioned before. I want you to look close at this part of yourself every day feeling free in communicating your wants and needs thank you so much i hope this video will bring more unity into our society into our consciousness more awareness Thank you so much. Keep reconnecting with the vulnerable parts of yourself and allow yourself to receive. Allow yourself to receive the presence, that flow with the presence. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.